our oils, our brake cleaners, etc. etc. Not Cedra. Mm -hmm. Etc. ECT. <laughs> Okay. You say it worse every time you say it. <laughs> kind of like st statistics. Statistics. I can't say st st stats. <laughs> All, right, so. All right, hey guys. Dallas here. We're in the shop today. We just kind of wanted to come down here and do a quick unboxing video of some of the stuff that you guys have already purchased from us on our Amazon wish list. Um, we greatly appreciate all the support that's been shown so far. You've blown us away. Honestly, we never expected anything, let alone boxes of stuff. Um, Brad's coming in with a box or two. We've got boxes sitting everywhere. It's awesome, and we greatly appreciate it. We can't put into words how appreciative we are. But it looks like uh, Brad's over here working on something. So let's go check him out and see what's going on. What are you doing? I am putting the new hardware onto my new helmet. My... <gasps> 20 lap old helmet. Huh. So, uh, you can see it's already got threads in it already for the little D rings and stuff. Was this your Christmas present? My Christmas present? Uh -huh. Was this your Christmas anniversary birthday for 19 no. years? No. Oh. This was just uh, my husband's awesome, so I thought I'd buy him a present. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, this is our. New Simpson hybrid that Mr. Hammers, uh, Mr. Jeremy Macon at Hammers Graden helped us out with. Uh, super excited about this, as you can see. Uh, I'll show you. I got the Hans laying there. I'll show you what the differences are. This don't come across your collarbone right here, like you was talking about in the video the other night. Had an injury here where my collarbone gives me some troubles, and when I strap the Hans device down, it pinches it, and it, it really hurts my shoulder uh, for about a week. So. Excited to try this out because it don't come across there as you can see it kind of stays all over the back uh, This is a large for anybody who Needs to know uh, if you need one ordered get with us Dallas at Warp Speed Performance Parks can get you one ordered uh, It is gonna be a little bit different because these hook It's got these little quick hooks right here that you got to kind of pull I'm pretty positive though. You can order it with the the slide hooks i think yeah i, I think, think it's an upgrade cost I'm, I'm not sure uh but this right here is perfectly fine i'm good with this this is uh nothing nothing to complain about it's just that seems a, that actually seems a little bit easier yeah it's I, I i hadn't put the helmet on to try that just yet but it seems to be easier uh people did ask how i thought about what i thought about the velocity helmet this is the carbon fiber uh velocity helmet that you can order from velocity-usa.com uh, loved it. It was definitely different. Uh, it's got built-in speakers so that you don't have to have earplugs. What is this one? This one's the, this one's like the series of the helmet. It's... I cannot remember the series. Justin Cummings. Yep. Uh, you can look him up on my Facebook if you don't have a Facebook. I'm sure you could probably call him and ask him what helmet this is. Uh, like I said, it was a little different because it has ear, ear pads in it. It don't have you don't use earplugs, as you can see, the race saver's plugged in right there. Once you plug it in, put the helmet on, you go racing. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing it's gonna have to take me to get some, a little bit used to, let's see, where's the, is you can see right here, it's got a breath deflector. So that kind of rides on your nose to keep your breath off the, the visor. Plus it's got one under here to keep air from going inside the helmet with you. So like I said, it's a little bit different. But it's okay. We'll, we'll, I'll get used to it. A and good difference. Yeah, I mean, it's a good difference. And uh, as far as the air goes, the forced air, I mean, it don't just blow right here like my old helmet did. The the air is dispersed more throughout the helmet. Uh, it just gives it a whole lot better circulation. So pretty cool. Uh, pretty excited about that. And uh, very happy with it. Well, what I was saying, too, about the series is, like, I know we, we are actually a dealer and we can get some of these, but the ones that I'm a dealer for don't have the built-in headphones and all of that stuff. Right. It's just the helmet. So, I can't remember what. We'll have to check into that and see if we can figure out what it is. Yeah, I'm not sure. And this, like this right here, like I was showing you, kind of going back to the hybrid, this buckles to you. It stays on you where the Hans here... 
is kind of like a, I call it like a cowboy collar in football. You know, it, it goes over your shoulders here, and you can see it comes completely over your collarbone. And when you go to tighten them belts down, it's supposed to pull you back into the seat, but it pinches your collarbone right here if you've ever had any issues. And I will, whenever I use that, I will make a follow-up video, whether that is better, worse, no different. Uh, but I feel like it's going to be better. So, like I said, that's that's that. That's the differences. That's the big differences. So I'm going to get this hardware changed out real quick and pretty much call it a night. Or I'm going to get this hardware changed out real quick and uh, then we're going to get started on the unboxing of the videos or a unboxing video of the gifts all you guys have sent us from our Amazon wish list. If you notice the t-shirt here, stick around to the end of the video. We'll tell you about this t-shirt. I will tell you what it is and why you guys are just now seeing it. So stick around. Hope you guys enjoy this video. It's supposed to be a little short, sweet video. And uh, like Dallas said just a second ago, we we're completely blown away by all the gifts that we have received. Um, you know, we ex I personally expected just a handful of small things and and you guys have really showed up and showed out y'all have sent us some really cool stuff and a lot of stuff that i when we added it i never truly expected it but it showed up and we're greatly appreciative of it okay guys so uh as we've said in the last couple of videos we got our amazon wish list up uh, we've been linking it in the description below the videos. The last couple of videos we've done. Uh, the reason for that wish list was we had had, had a couple of people uh, recommend us to do this. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, when I started adding stuff to it, when Dallas told me she made it, you know, I was just looking at putting a little, you know, just like consumables such as uh, like towels, brake cleaner, just cheap stuff and you know, didn't really think that anybody would get that, you know, and that's that's really my fault for kind of, what, what's the word I'm looking for? That's really my fault for not believing that you guys are gonna take care of us like you always do, like you always support us, and we're very thankful for that, very humbling to see the mail lady come up and there's three or four boxes in the back of her car and we don't have a clue what it is, and, and it's uh, it's very humbling, so we, we wanna, let you guys know that we really appreciate each and every bit of that and and are very thankful for each of you that have already purchased this and and i know dallas has gotten some... we pause you for just a second so just to give you guys a picture of what he's talking about he came in the lady the male lady came up honking and he went out and got it he comes in and he got a box a good type box on his shoulder and he's got one on his head so he's walking in and he's basically juggling boxes and these are good size boxes and they're not light and we didn't have a clue what they was that's what was crazy about it but uh we have received emails uh, of people that have ordered stuff and it it has all not gotten here yet but everything was piling up on our kitchen table so we wanted to go ahead and and do a video and start thanking some of you guys that have already purchased things for us. You know, if everything you've ordered isn't here yet, uh, just give it time and we will get it in a video and get you thanked for it. Uh, this is just everything that we had today sitting on our kitchen table, so. And this is stuff we're really excited to get put together for and sure. start working, so we don't wanna just let it sit around. Right. So. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing here came from Mr. Billy Bright. Uh, Dallas found a couple cool rechargeable flashlights uh, I think there's still another one on there that's maybe a little bit bigger than these. I, I think I actually deleted it today because we got one, so okay. I thought, well, I think we're good. Well, anyways, I thought this was pretty cool. I've never seen them, seen them anywhere, but got your cool carrying case and then your flashlight there. Got two of them in here in this hard case. They're USB rechargeable. Looks like rechargeable lithium ion batteries, so. Uh, oh, it comes with two charging cables. But while he's he's reading some instructions, we put things on. We always need lights, and we've got two or three, and they're all rechargeable, and that's the best thing is they're rechargeable because batteries can get pretty steep the way we use flashlights. So anyway, 
the guys around here don't like to put things back where they go. Uh, we were looking for, I think it was a 7 16 wrench the other day in the trailer at the racetrack. And we had five like, sixteenths. Five sixteenths. Last year we had two or three. This year we have zero. Um, so God. they don't like putting things back where they go. So, and then these you can wear. Chris is going to have it on the belt loop. Y'all might, man. Got him. Feel that. It's been heat off. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> get, get a sunburn. <laughs> Joel can use these as light sticks. That is awesome. They're bright. They're way brighter than anything we've got. Oh. What is that? You'll make have somebody have a seizure. A seizure? A seizure. So it comes with these little cool things here where you can actually put uh, three AAA batteries in it if you'd like. But I don't know why you would want to do that when you got rechargeable batteries. Because for people like us that don't remember to charge them. I think I'd rather have, well, you got two charging cords, so we should be okay. Yeah. But if you need it like right then, maybe that's a good. Yeah. They're O-rings. They got nice metal or aluminum casing on them. Pretty interesting. And if you guys need the links for any of this stuff, uh, just. Just reach out to us. And reach we'll... out to us and I'll try to find it because as this stuff is being bought, we're deleting it. So I'll do my best to find it again. So thanks again, Mr. Billy Bright, for the flight over right here once again. If you know anything about dirt racing, well, not just dirt racing, everyday life, uh, you can always use zip ties. So Mr. Billy picked us up some zip ties and a new heat gun. Uh, we use heat guns for various different things. Uh, I use it a lot of times when I'm putting the stretch wrap around the tires. If the edges don't go down just perfect, I'll kind of just take and wave the heat gun uh, across it to shrink the wrap to the tires better. Uh, obviously you use it a lot when you're putting decals on vinyl and, and uh, cleaning old stickers off and all that. So You use uh, it a lot more than you think you do. Yeah, and We've always had that one right there and it goes in and out of the trailer and sometimes we get it and sometimes we forget it. So now we'll be able to put one in the trailer and one in here and should never have to worry about forgetting that again. So thanks again to Mr. Billy Bright. So all three of those, the heat gun, the zip, zip ties, and the flashlight. Mr. Uh, Steve Reese reached out to us about these. Uh, what this right here is, this is pretty cool. It is a. We actually needed this Saturday night when we were at the racetrack because we only have one set of AN wrenches for the fuel lines, brake lines, water lines, etc. Uh, well, we walked out Saturday and they was hanging on the wall over there, so we had to use what you don't want to use, and that's a crescent wrench. So this is actually a. Crescent wrench style AM wrench. Uh, you can adjust it. It's got, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Take it over and let me see the numbers. It lets you know what size AM fit you're working with. Once again, that'll be just like the heat gun. We'll be able to put this, probably put this right here in the trailer. Leave this in the trailer at all times and uh, shouldn't have to worry about forgetting, forgetting them again. So. And that's a little bit more compact, so we don't have to right. put through the trailer. Yeah, and we don't have, I think there's six of them right there hanging up, so that takes a lot of room, and sometimes they fall down, and you got to hunt and look for one where this right here is not in one. So, pretty cool tool right there. I'm not sure. Evil Energy is where it came from. Also, he got us one of these. Uh, Dallas has actually sold a lot of these. They are tool organizers. You got a place to put your your drill batteries, your drills, uh, drill bits, all in little stackable containers. Oh, light. light decided to come on. I saw the light. <laughs> so it's just a wire frame right there. I'm not gonna worry about taking it out of the box, but it's just a couple of wire wire racks, and it's designed to. Uh, it's got little U hangers on the bottom. I see you see a lot of people hanging like drills upside down on them, and then it's got a couple of shelves in there for drill bits and different things. So, but it's not exactly wire um, durability. It's thick. It's pretty thick metal. Yeah, it's probably 
I'd say probably a 16th inch metal that's yeah. bent. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's durable, it's gonna work. And um, I'm excited to have it because you can't ever get to the box back there where the drills are because we have a bunch of goofy whatnots and stuff that always gets piled in front of the doors. So we should be able to hang this up on a wall, maybe somewhere <laughs> and uh, be able to find our drills and our drill bits and everything. So thanks again, Mr. Steve Reese. Best part about that one too, that I like, there's a box in there, you said that's okay. The best part about this one I like is a lot of the drill organizers and stuff only have like four. Well, we've got 19 drills and impacts and stuff that we've accumulated over the years. So we needed more than a four, so that has eight, so that's nice. We've got a, just a set of Allen wrenches. And if you have Allen wrenches, that are being transferred from the trailer to the shop, you're gonna lose some, you're gonna break some. We got some that's missing. So, uh, miss, let's see. This was actually sent to us by Hydraulic Services of Florida. Uh, ordered us these Allen wrenches, it's three sets. You got the, uh, you got the metric, you got the standard, and then you got the Torx bits as well. So, thankfully we'll, huh? Torch bits is nice, you don't see that. Yeah, you don't see torch bits come with Allen sets very often, but thought that was pretty cool. Uh, and definitely will be worth not having to tow them in and out of the trailer and, and hunt and look for the right one. So thanks again to Hydraulic Services of Florida. We will put those to use as well. We've got, we've got what, one set of uh, nice ones of those. The other ones are kind of rounded yeah, they're, and they're a mess. They're the, old, they're the old metal ones that's flips in on both sides and they're broke and missing some and can't ever find the one you need. So uh, here we go right here. This is another uh, item that Hydraulic Services of Florida sent us. And the rest of this is from Hydraulic Services of Florida. So that whole box here? Yes. Okay. Yeah, all four of these is from them. Every time we need one of these, we can't ever find one. So I thought that was a pretty good idea to put on there. Especially because we always have one. He needs them if we have problems with, like, say, a radiator hose or something like that. We need something clean, and everything we've got has got sludge and just mess yeah, in. So it's got a nice little pour spout there. It's a two gallon. Uh, let's see, two gallons. How much? Is, how many eight quarts. How many gallons? That's eight quarts. Okay, so you can't drain a dry sump tank into this, but that's okay. We'll make that work, but this will work for like the oil pan. Did you hear what I just said? This is for fluids. This is for like water. This is not for oil. Like I said, we're always needing one in. We can't find one when we need it. So. And I've already got. To, I'm already going to whip him into shape because I told. I just said this is going to be for water and stuff like that. Maybe, maybe we need another. One. <laughs> All right, got us an oil filter here. Uh, our our dry sump system it uses the big oil filters, the 51. Uh, 222 R's. Once again, this is from Hydraulic Services of Florida, so that'll be uh, very beneficial when the, the next time comes up for us to change the oil. We we'll already have an oil filter, so thanks again. I think these things are like 30 bucks, so that helps out a lot. Yeah, they're not cheap. This is the this is the most needed thing on our list. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I think Dallas was actually doing a live video the other night on TikTok while I was grinding the tires and the tire grinder that we we use, uh, we got it from O'Reilly's back in best we could figure 2013-ish, somewhere in that area. So it's a good 10 years old and sometimes you use it and it'll work perfect and sometimes you use it and the button won't work and you have to figure with the wire and my dad's took it apart four times and rewired it and uh, I think the brushes are pretty much gone in it, but anyways. It, it's, you're, you're riding a tire, and dirt, yeah. dirt, it just stopped right and, and sometimes you, it's got variable speed on it, and sometimes you'll have it all the way down, and it'll still be wide open, and sometimes it won't even be going. So uh, it's time to time to replace one, So, but we can keep that one with us as a spare now, and, and you know, if something never happens, we got a spare, and, or if we're rushed or something, we 
two people can maybe grind tires. So that's a good idea. But this one will probably stay in the trailer because it's sure. definitely more detrimental to have a good grinder. And if at, we're at ever the in the shop, yeah. we can always go get the one out of the trailer right. or something we're having so, that one. Once again, like Dallas said, that whole box there was from Hydraulic Services of Florida. So uh, thank you guys for the products. For the generous. Yes, gen generous, very generous. And every one of every one of you guys has absolutely been generous. And this is the big thing on that other one too. It's broken. It got yeah. a brass finger. In the it. TikTok live video, I lost a finger. So I didn't really lose a finger. We felt like it. Hey, check that out. Oh. Grinding disc. Is that what? Diamond oven. Is that what you need for it? Uh, we can make them work. They feel about like that. And a handle. Side handle. Nah, we use 60. That's 120. Are they all 120? I think so. Yeah, they're all 120. So it comes with about, what, 10 120 discs? Yeah. Then you got all your buffing discs, polishing discs. But Dad needed that the other night when you were polishing them with it. Yeah, yeah, now we got it all. Because our other grinder, we don't even have all these attachments. They're yeah, gone we did. We did originally. <laughs> I don't know where they went, went, have went to. So. I probably threw them away because you they probably, probably could, just piled up. You probably didn't know what you was looking at. So. No, I, I'm tired of clutter that stuff that we don't use. So anyway, get that bad boy popped on there. Perfect. Let me feel. Let me see how heavy. It actually balances pretty well. It's heavy, but it, it balances well. It is heavy, but it's, I think it's because it don't have the handle. Well, I think I like this idea better than the handle you're talking about. Try that on for size. Oh yeah, that's good right there. Much better. That's good. Yeah. I do tires. He don't do tires very much. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we, got, we got a digital variable speed. Oh. Getting high class now. Hey, that's a nice one. Yeah, it is. It is. And what we have. But you also got the option, like Alice was showing just a second ago. Do yeah. that. I'll probably try. Well, I talk about that. I'll probably try it both ways and see which one I like better. Yeah. But it's really, oh, look at that. You know what that is? Uh, you know what those are? No idea. <laughs> Something we'll never know where they're at when we need them. What is that? That's uh, brushes for the motor. If the brushes are wear out, that's an extra set of brushes. What? So that's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll put them up well, there. Like, like I said, I will never know where they're at whenever we need them. So. <coughs> How many of you's got that problem? Three. Anyways, so that's all we've got right now. Uh, we was already showing you guys the, the hybrid that Mr. Uh, Jeremy uh, making from Hammers Graden got us. Uh, we're, so we're still expecting more packages in. People have emailed us and let us know. Uh, and that's one thing i was going to say if if you can uh just kind of reach out to us and and let us know to expect it uh, most of the time if we get our our normal mail lady she puts it in a good location sometimes we get a fill-in mail lady and they will leave this stuff out in the yard, out in the rain. Uh, they left it behind my car before in the driveway. It's been laying in the middle of the driveway right behind her car. Uh, she actually ordered her mom something to, electronic for Christmas this past year. And that's what was laying behind her car. And we had to send it back because by the time we found it, it had done come a flood. So just kind of reach out to us and let us know to kind of expect to look for something. Uh, that way something don't get looked over or if you have ordered something and it's been a week or two and we haven't shown it on the video just kind of let us know hey you know i ordered this have you guys found it or, or seen it or whatever just just try not to overlook something is what basically what i'm saying because you guys know how how mailing services are right now so and i thought i thought we would kind of get an email when somebody purchased so we know to look but i haven't yeah, seen it an don't, email it don't tell us nothing as far as when somebody well you know it does go to my junk email so i wonder if i've just overlooked it i asked you that the other night to check that email. I, oh you're right you're right i did check it and it wasn't there okay. you're right you're right there okay you go. so let's say because i don't ever check that i just give that email to people that 
Do you need milk? Right. So, anyways, like I said, if you have ordered something that's not here, we just want to do a video because all them boxes was piling up on the kitchen table and Dallas is getting claustrophobic and all that. So, uh, thanks to the guys who, who we just mentioned, uh, Mr. Billy Bright, uh, Steve Reese, and Florida. Hydraulics of Florida. Hydraulic Services of Florida. Hydraulic Services of Florida. Thank you all very much. And we greatly appreciate it and are very, very humbled by it. So, uh, with that being said, we really don't have much to do tonight in the shop. We're just going to kind of, uh, we're, we just want to do this video, get it done, and, and kind of get you guys something to watch on this Sunday evening. We're going to try to, hopefully this comes out Sunday. If not, we're trying to get it out for you for Sunday, so. It'll be out Sunday. Yeah, it'll be out tomorrow, hopefully. So. We'll do our due, due diligence, yeah. unless, uh, unless. Unless something major happens. So, that's our plan. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you haven't noticed our t-shirts here, uh, let me show you. This is a shirt that we were just playing with. We're not 100% sure we're gonna sell it because of our colors changing. We've actually had it since what? Christmas? Mr. Brandon. Christmas or before? Our, our buddy Brandon Boyd at uh, All South Signs and Graphics, he uh, kind of drew it up for us and sent it. And we uh, we didn't do our job. We got really far behind and, and we did not do a good job of getting it set up to produce. And so this is actually not not done the normal way we do t-shirts this is actually done a whole different way and we were this was a a experiment yeah kind of a test this was an experimental shirt just to see if the new way was going to work and how it turned out and so far i wore this out probably three or four times uh and it's went through the wash cycle and it seems to be working good so uh, maybe we can get the colors and the design updated and once we do that we'll probably start uh, trying to produce them, but here's the back. Uh, you can see how it was an experiment, how it's kind of got the orange on it. And I don't know if you can see it. You might grab the camera and make sure that's good. Yeah. See, it's just kind of got the orange on it. Like I said, that was an experiment. We was trying. Uh, we know how to fix that, but uh, this was just an experiment. So. What was you gonna say because you're laughing about something okay so we're super super excited i know you guys are gonna be super super excited we got double d shirt in the works <laughs> it's gonna be a good one it's gonna be a little we'll just say that it has has something to do with lee springs we have had requests for this shirt so yes. it might have been good <laughs> yes we have actually it was somebody on a live video that gave us the idea I don't remember which live because we go live on Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok, so I don't okay. know which live it was. I have no idea. But I am excited for it. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, I, I will be wearing it every day. I can't believe, I, well, I mean, I can, but never mind. <laughs> what were you going to say? <laughs> go ahead and say it. <laughs> go ahead and no, say I'm it. I'm good. All right, then. <laughs> All right. If you hadn't already, make sure you subscribe. Uh, subscribing helps us out tremendously as well. It pushes our videos out there. It don't cost you anything. I don't know. Anyways, hit the subscribe button, comment down below. Let us know what you think. Share it with your friends and family. Head on over to Patreon. Patreon uh, with Day Days of Dirt with Bradbury Racing. Uh, there's several different levels over there that you can pick from if you want to kind of be like a partner of our team. Uh, if you do want to be partners of our team, make sure you reach out to us. Uh, we, we've got some openings here. I want to say thank you to Warp Speed Performance Parts, KT Heat and Air, uh, Hammers Graden, Vincent Race Engines, Fat Daddy's, mm -hmm. Fat Daddy's Racing Crew out of Fat Daddy's Crew, Fat Daddy's Crew out of Lafayette, Indiana. Mm -hmm. I'll get that right. I gotta get. I gotta say it a couple of times, but I will get that right. Thanks to Brandon Boyd, All South Signs and Graphics. Uh, man. Gorsuch Performance, Stop Tech Brakes, Penske Shocks, Brin Transmissions. Uh, golly bum, I, I was That's making fun of her the other night. Now I'm doing the same thing. That's so. the way I feel. I'm like, dang, we have this many sponsors. Usually it's our partners. Well, it's it will help me out a lot once we get everything on the car that needs to go on the car because that's the way 
I'm kind of like one that's got to visualize stuff. Yeah. Once I get it on the car, huh. I'll be able to sit there and picture the way the car looks, and I can sit there and run it down. You know. Down my brain. You know, I'm thinking. You don't even have my logo on this car nowhere. I didn't order the wrap. You didn't even put Barry Apparel Company on the car. I did not order the wrap. <laughs> you need to turn that camera around and say that to yourself. I didn't think about it, Brandon. I'll be coming for you again. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, did I get everybody? I think so. Did you say hammers? Yeah. Okay. I said hammers. Okay. Everybody over here on YouTube. Go to BradburyRacing.com. You can keep up with us as far as our schedule. Uh, BarryApparelCo.com. As long as I don't drop the ball and actually keep it updated. BarryApparelCo.com. You can go over there and order your t-shirts, whether it be Bradbury Racing, Days of Dirt, or the little girly shirts that Dallas makes. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, short little video for tonight. I think it's short anyways. It may not uh, be. It's 27 but, minutes. It's uh, not short. We're going to... We're going to head to the house, call it a night, and I'm sure we'll be back down here next week sometime. What about your uh, social platforms? My, my social media? Yeah, your social media. Uh, What's my, your biggest one? Uh, Bradbury Racing 27 on Facebook. Uh, Days of Dirt on YouTube, obviously, because you're here watching. And <laughs> the Rock Ledge Rocket on TikTok. The cool. TikTok's taking off, isn't TikTok's it? TikTok's doing pretty good for us right now. So if you haven't already, make sure you head over there to TikTok and hit the little red plusy button there. Give us a follow over there. Uh, seems like we've kind of ruffled a little feathers <laughs> over there the last couple of videos we've posted. But hey, I mean, we do these videos to make, make you guys laugh. We're not doing them to offend nobody. We're not doing it to make nobody mad. We're just... Most of the stuff we do, we're trying to get a laugh out of it. We're trying to be funny. We're trying to lighten everybody's... We're trying to lighten everybody's mood is what we're trying to do. Because Lord knows we need it in this yes. day and time. This day and time, you need to just take a break, laugh. If it offends you, I'm sorry. Kind of. Uh, yeah, just laugh. Mm -mm. You know, everybody already does kind of think you're a bad guy. I will. The way you treat me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> if they only knew. If they saw the other side of the story. <laughs> Somebody's made a comment about that before. <laughs> you, he definitely is good. But anyway, that's going to finish us up tonight. We hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Just something a little bit different. But we'll be back in the shop next week. And we'll see you guys soon. Thanks to everyone that has purchased something off of our wish list. We cannot put into words how much we uh, appreciate you. And He's coming back for more. Talking about the wish list, uh, kind of what I was thinking, I don't know, I've not thought in Dallas about this or anybody, I just kind of thought about it in my mind. We will kind of keep the, sort of the consumables on there during the year, like our oils, our brake cleaners, et cetera, et cetera, not cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera, ECT. <laughs> okay. You say it worse every time you say it. <laughs> kind of like st statistics, statistics, I can't say statistics. Stats. Right, so, uh, and then maybe this winter, you know, may put, if you guys are still interested or still getting support, may put bigger items on there this winter or, or maybe even throughout the year. Uh, just kind of see how it goes. You guys are already, already blew my expectations out of the water. So uh, just have to keep going with it if it keeps going. All right, and if there's ever at any time, if there's ever anything you want to send us that is not on our wish list, something you thought of, you've seen in the shop that you think we need, you want to send it, our P.O. box is always down below. Any personalized items, any racing shirts, anything like that, feel free to send it to us because I promise we'll wear it. We will wear racing shirts. Um, so that will definitely... Dry fit type shirts. I need a 2X, not an X. <laughs> but he wears an extra large. I wear a medium. Maggie wears a 4T, 3T, whatever. Uh, she's she's a big girl, so. But anyway, we appreciate all of you guys, and we'll see you back soon. <laughs>